What does it take for a regular guy like me to become a real race car driver? No, I'm not talking about renting a supercar and driving it on a private track. I'm talking about the real deal, wheel to wheel, race car driving on a proper circuit. I've wanted to do this ever since I was a little boy, and today I'm gonna show you how I did it and how you can do it too. How hard could it be? This is insane. This is actually crazy. Why, hello, Mr. McGooglesen. I'm looking to become a professional race car driver. Oh, sounds great. Uh, do, do you got a million dollars? The big problem is, and we've heard it a million times, if you want to be a professional race car driver, you basically have to be a gazillionaire. It's a story as old as time. The rich guys get to have all the fun. But that might not be necessarily true. Now, first step in becoming a race car driver is getting your racing license. Duh, you just can't show up to a race and start racing, even if you are Big Money McGooglesen. And getting a racing license involves a lot of paperwork. You gotta join the sanctioning body for the race series. You gotta submit a photocopy of your driver's license. You gotta get a physical by a doctor. Hey, okay, you can race. All of that stuff is gonna cost you somewhere in the ballpark of about $1,000. Now, there are a couple of different options when it comes to racing schools, but I chose to go to Skip Barber Racing School. They've had a bunch of graduates like Danica Patrick, Juan Pablo Montoya, so if it's good for them, it's good for me. The race school teaches you the basics of racing a car. It teaches you all the flags, the racing line, when to brake, when to accelerate. You know, all the easy stuff. It cost me $6,000 and I had to fly myself up to beautiful wine country in Sonoma Raceway. But the most shocking part of race school is that it only took me two days to graduate. You serious? Now to be fair, I've driven on track a couple times before, so I got to skip the initial three-day class. But at the end of the day, it took me four years to graduate engineering school, and I got to drive zero race cars during that four years. So you tell me what was more worth it. But race school is probably the easiest part of your race car journey. You know how to drive a car? You're gonna do A-OK -okay at racing school. The hard part comes when you actually start trying to find money to pay for all this. The reality of racing, guys, is that at the end of the day, it's the most expensive sport in the world. <laughs> to race the TC America Series, which I'll be racing him, it costs over $250,000 over the course of a 14 race season. That's over $20,000 a race. It's a 40 minute race, so that's $500 a minute. Where the heck does all this money go when you're racing a car? Well, you gotta remember that racing is a team sport. You got a tire and fuel manager, a car chief, and he's got maybe one, two, sometimes three mechanics working under him. There's coaches who do track analysis after practice, qualifying in the race. The list goes on and on and on. And that's just the crew cost. There are other things that factor into it, like the cost of fuel, the race fees, the track fees, tires. You got to pay for things like your race suit and your helmet, all the accessories that keep you safe inside the car. I had to buy a $500 cool suit, which was something I didn't even know existed until I showed up to the track. <laughs> oh my God. But while 250 grand sounds expensive, if I were to race, I don't know, LMP2 cars, which is the Le Mans prototype cars, these are the ones that are the cheap version of prototype racing, to run a full season in those cars, just a cool $100 million. Now look, I'm assuming you and I don't have that. So the only way that we can feasibly pay for any of this stuff is through sponsorships. Now some guys reach out to sponsors, say, hey, I'm gonna make some content for you. Some guys teach during a race school and that gives them some credit to race on race days. Some guys, like D-list YouTube celebrities, go straight to the sponsors themselves. Why, hello, I'm looking for some money. Who the heck are you? Whoa, 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 hold on! Oh! Oh! Okay, okay, okay! Okay, maybe I'm not as famous as I thought, but I'm still a couple months away from race day, so I'm gonna have to find a way, like everyone else, to come up with some sponsorship money. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Burton. Ever heard of me? Uh, sir, this is a toilet supply store. So with a giant money problem looming over my head, I try to focus on getting prepared for my first ever professional race, which just so happens to be at Coda. Yes, that Coda, Circuit of the Americas Coda, a legit grade one FIA racetrack. 
Dakota is a 20 turn, 3.4 mile long track that starts off really tricky at turn one with 133 feet of elevation change that leads you into a hairpin left turn. Turn three is the start of the S's, a quick series of back and forth turns which you'll need to hit at around 100 miles an hour while also splitting each of these three turtles. That takes you into turn 11, which is the start of a thousand meter straight that gets you up to 135 miles an hour. And if you hold your line through 18 and 19, then you have one more hairpin that takes you into the front straight. You're gonna do that over and over again for 40 minutes. Dude, it's a lot to prepare for. Have you ever done anything for 40 minutes? So there's clearly a lot that goes into being a race car driver. And when you're starting out racing, you really have to have a lot of other skills and you better be good at multitasking because my next several months were something like this. Go to my real job at Donut, reach out to sponsors, try to broker a deal, work out, sim training, go to work, fundraise more money, broker other deals, work out, sim training. Now my wife's bad at me, broker a deal, work out, sim training, now she's leaving me, etc., etc., etc. And then finally, finally, after all that, with only two days before I fly out to Austin, I got all of my sponsor money. Okay, on our way to Austin. Starting to get serious now. A lot to do from the get-go. Get off the plane, go get the car, go to the track, get seated in the car. I've, I've never seen this thing, so I'm just gonna sit here and be nervous the whole time. I'm freaking out, man. First time here at Coda on the track. We're now doing the initial track walk. This turn seven comes up on you really, really quick, and you're carrying a lot of speed through here. So if you guys feel that it is scraping this, get off. I think because it makes a really <laughs> loud Depends noise, I, I want to do it again. There's a lot of stuff going through my head, but I'm realizing that I haven't come up with any sort of race strategy yet. So what do you think I should be uh, looking for or going into this race thinking? It's your first race weekend ever in these cars, right? So I think we need to hone back the aggression a little bit. Okay, yeah. Right? Don't focus so much on that. Don't go into turn one and just say, I'm not going to break, yeah. you know? Because trust me, there's people that do that. So I'm not going to do any of that. I came to Austin to win, baby, and here's how I'm going to do it. I need to get out the gate strong. It's the first moment to really gain any spots. And I wanna be aggressive early and try to hopefully create some separation and not get stuck losing time behind hard to pass slower cars. I'm gonna get out front early, maintain pace, and have all these other posers behind me being like, oh, Cherry's a YouTuber and he can race cars, oh my God. Speaking of super cool fast cars, this is my race car. I'm racing a 10th gen Civic Type R, but it's no ordinary Type R. This is a homologated race car built by Honda Performance Development. It's got a two liter K20 VTEC turbo engine making 300 horsepower, all going through a six speed manual transmission. HPD fits a car with special oil coolers, engine management system, high strength gears, and LSD, upgraded suspension, brakes, and exhaust. And because it's a race car, we got slick top Tires, a welded cage, six point harness with a race seat and an onboard fire control system in case, you know, I catch this thing on fire. It's not my race car unless I put a donut sticker on it. For the past five years, we've been working hard making clothes and thanks to the support of our awesome community, you guys, as of August 5th, donut apparel and accessories will be available at every Zoomies store in America and Canada. And to kick it off, we are gonna throw a launch event at our local Zoomies store, the Lamo Fashion Center. Saturday, August 5th from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll be there. Every donut host will be there. We're gonna sign everything that says donut on it. There's gonna be racing sims, exclusive posters and stickers, freebies, prizes. All the information is in the description below. I can't believe how far we've come. It's all because of you guys. Come on out. Let's party, dude. I'm really excited. This is gonna be sick. We're in the mall, dude. All right, 6.30 a.m. at the track. First day of practice, so I'm about to get in the car for the first time. My whole plan today is just don't crash and get comfortable with the car. If I could do those two things, then I'll be fine. But I'm very nervous. 
<laughs> and I laugh when I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright, man, here we go. This is f insane. This is actually crazy. Oh, probably having the time of his life right now. And I was having a great time until. I spun the car on my very first lap. Oh. Idiot. So Jeremiah just spun, but didn't hit anything, so that's good. That first lap. First lap, yeah, out lap. It happens. You know he was in the car, like, I hope nobody saw that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I money shifted like four times. So with day one in the books, I had a lot to learn. I couldn't even put down a single clean lap. And at this point, I'm starting to wonder, is this something I'm even capable of? Am I in way over my head? Can a regular guy like me actually be a race car driver? Brake at six, tap of the brakes, inside of six, letting the car run wide on seven. You can hop this curb too. as nervous as the beginning, but now there's a little bit more pressure because I gotta drop some time, making some mistakes. He's doing all right. We're looking at a 235.7 right now, so he's dropping about a second every time he comes by. Let's go. How was I? Good. Good? Oh, yeah. Okay. How's the car feel? Awesome, dude. Nuts, right? Yeah, much better. Yeah. Okay, first turn, trail break into one. Race day is tomorrow, and in the TC series, they run the race right after qualifying. So it's going to be a big day, and I need to get my rest. Except I can't get any rest because all night long, all I could hear was rain. Never driven in the rain on a racetrack. Ever. Jeez, what the hell? <laughs> so I was feeling pretty confident last night. Right now, total loss of confidence. So I just want to not crash, not get hit, finish the race. Where are you going to place today? We're going to finish the race. <laughs> are we going to drive him down on slicks? I'm going to tap. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> we drive him down on slicks. Starts down pouring. They'll, they'll red flag it. They'll let everybody do a tire change. Going out on slicks, though. Slicks in the rain. Nervous level. Nervous level. Most nervous I've been the entire week. My team got my car ready, and I tried to calm down. Just remember every minute of my practice on the racetrack. 20 minutes till pit lane. I could definitely see that he's nervous. <laughs> Happy that he's nervous, though. It means that he's caring and that he knows that he might be able to be competitive. So. I was hoping they were going to give us some more time for uh, it to dry, but no. Nope, that's not the case. All right, I got to go. Bye. See ya. Love you, Mom. So with more rain on its way and my nerves at an all-time high, I suited up for my qualifying race, which I smashed. My fastest lap was good enough for P4. P4, baby. Let's go. So with the first part of my plan complete, I just need to follow through with the rest of it and win this race. Let's go, guys. Let's go. You just keep this car in one piece and make it through. You'll be fine. You got a good car, Jerry. You got a good car. We're doing good, old girl. We're doing good. The two spots that you spun, you need to nail those. Because if you nail those, you can make up some positions. We're good, yeah? Got it. You got your plan. Got the plan. It's all stuff. Dude. Love you, dude. Love you, bud. Lifelong dream, let's go. 
Let's go. Here we go, baby. Eye of the tiger. Crank this up. Today, TC America, powered by Skip Barber, returns to the Circuit of the Americas for the first time since 2021. Two dozen cars are set to take on the 20 turns and 130 feet of elevation change here at Coda. Jeremiah Burton making his debut. Great qualifying effort starting in the fourth spot in class. Let's go, let's do this. Let's get it. Green, 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 green. Go, 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 go. Drop to seventh, but we're gonna make up some places. We got this. We're still good. stuck behind this guy. It's, it's one thing to be faster than him. It's a whole different thing to get around him. Oh, he's so close. Get him, buddy. Get him, buddy. Yeah. Go, go, go. All right, Jer. This is where you make up your time, right here. White flag, final lap. Stay to your left, stay to your left. Ah, damn it, don't whip that thing. a problem with that car and you can see he's pulled up to the side of the track for a safe place to come to a stop hey something broke on the front right of this car i um flipped one of these um turtles over here uh i'm stuck before the carousel okay copy just just sit tight they'll send rescue well that sucks yay racing We're gonna finish the race. All right. Yeah, yeah go slow. slow. Oh, that wasn't slow, but no. but that works. The face of disappointment. Broke the car. DNF first race. Wasn't what I was expecting. The team found out that a sensor broke on the electric steering rack, causing the steering wheel to lock up. Bummed to say the least, but was battling with a guy. I mean, it was sick. It was a lot of fun. But the competitor in me is furious right now. <laughs> Here's the thing I forgot to tell you guys. There's actually a race tomorrow. They do two races a weekend. So I get another chance tomorrow morning to see if I can improve my finish of DNF. Just survive, and then it'll be better. Where is it? I know I put it in here. Looking for this? Forget that bulky mess and check out today's sponsor, Exter. Are you a talking wallet? I'm the Exter wallet, the smartest wallet you'll ever own. Smart? How could a wallet be smart? I've got the capacity to hold over 12 cards, pal. Give you instant access with one click. RFID protect you from data thieves, help track down your lost phone or wallet across the globe, and even make you a cup of coffee. You can't make me a cup of coffee. Okay, I can't make coffee, but I can make your life easier. Tell them. To get your own extra wallet, visit shop.exter.com slash donutmedia to save up to 25% by using that discount code donutmedia or click the link below.
This is it. My last chance for redemption. Will I get the gold or will I trip at the finish line again? since I was a baby. Final lap, dude, final lap. Today, finally making that dream a reality. Nice job, nice job. That is P5. P5, good stuff, dude. <laughs> On the top step of the podium, let's hear it for William Lambert! So my first race didn't go exactly as planned, but I got to live out my lifelong dream of becoming a professional race car driver. And here's the thing, I didn't need to be a millionaire to do it. I wanna thank you guys so much for following along in this, being a part of this. This was so special to me. I gotta thank all the guys over at Skip Barber who helped me live this childhood dream I've had. Without them, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Love those guys, they're like my second family. Let's go check them out. Follow us here on Donut at Donut Media. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Until next time, bye for now.